last week we did football and we're going to stay on that topic for a whole week. So this is our second lesson of football. We did a little bit of dribbling last week. Now we're going to be looking at passing football. One of the most important things just to move the ball around. Okay. The equipment we'll need straight away. Of course it's in the name. We need a football. We need some stuff to try and knock off at the end. So I'm going to be using free tennis balls. We can use like Pringles can, maybe a packet of crisps. Just to try and knock off. Try and find anything. Be creative. And you'll be needing four cones to hold up the objects. Okay. Rob will be doing the warm up today. So pause the video now. Can you get the equipment? When you're ready, first start. Okay, so warm up for lesson five. All right, we're going to actually go back to lesson four and think about those ball skills that we did. All right, today we're focusing on passing, but we're going to go back and recap those dribbling skills that we did last time. All right, so you should all have a ball now. So we're ready, okay, ready to go. And all we're going to do to start is do soul taps. Now, you did a game of captains come in. Soul taps is where you use the sole of your foot and you use it to tap on top of the ball. So look, watch me. So look, you've got to see if you can tap your sole on top of the ball, okay? Now, some of you might find it hard and you might kind of start off like this, but when you can, start trying to hop from foot to foot. So when I say sole tap, look, we're tapping our sole on the ball and the ball isn't moving very far, okay? And if it does, it's fine, bring it back and then you carry on, all right? And freezer, perfect. So there are soul taps, okay? Now, when you scrub the deck, remember you were doing this action. Now these in football are called toe taps, okay? Because we're using our big toe to tap the ball back and forth. So let's show me your toe taps. Who can remember this one? So look, toe taps, who can keep the ball nice and controlled like this? If it does go away, it's fine. Bring it back and off you go again. So look, we've got sole taps, which are these. And when I say toe taps, we go back to these, okay? When I say freeze, foot on the ball, all right? So we're just gonna do those two to start with, ready? So sole taps, here we go. So sole taps, you use your sole, tap the top of the ball, okay? Remember, it's slow if you want, or if you can go really quick, Try and speed up, okay? And toe taps. Now it's our big toe, okay? Who can do this? Who can remember this? Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. So toe taps, toe taps, toe taps, and back to our sole. So now back to this, look, sole, top of the ball, okay? Keep going, as fast as you can. If you're finding it hard, go a bit slower, that's fine. Not a problem. And freeze. Perfect. Okay. Now, last lesson, you would have learned a drag back. Okay. Now, for those that may not remember, okay, a drag back is where you use the sole of your foot to spin the ball back the other way. Okay. So, look, from this angle, watch me, watch. So, look, my sole is on the top of the ball and I flick it behind me. Okay, so now when I say drag back, you're gonna go forward a bit, you're gonna drag it back, you're gonna go forward a bit, you're gonna drag it back. So you look like this. Okay, until I say something different or freeze. Okay, so freeze there. So we've got three things now. Okay, we've got sole taps, toe taps, and drag back. All right, right, we're gonna start with our drag back once I've done my lace up. Okay, make sure your lace is done. You know, I'm going to fall over. All right, ready? And drag back. So here we go. So dribble a bit, drag back. Here we go. Dribble a bit, drag back. Dribble a bit, drag back. Dribble a bit, drag back. Use your sole every time. Ready? And drag. And sole taps. Here we go. Back to our sole now. Now, if your drag back ends up facing the wrong way, make sure you turn around to start your sole taps or toe taps or whatever we're doing, okay? And toe taps, here we go. Back to these now. Keep moving as fast as you can. I'm starting to sweat a bit now, which is good. It means we're working hard. Okay, ready? And drag back. So look, little touches, drag. Use that sole. Little touches, drag. Use that sole. Every time. 
David, who can go even quicker? Little touches, drag. Little touches, drag. Little touches, drag. And freeze. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to add one more. Okay. This time we're going to use our outside of the foot. Okay. Which is this part where our little toe is. And look, we're going to flick it back the other way. So I'm only using my outside of my foot the whole time. Okay. So look, we've got outside, we've got drag back, we've got sole taps, and we've got toe taps. There are four, okay? Right, have 10 seconds to take a breath, and we're gonna go, okay? We're gonna make it quite hard, this one. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and outside so look outside your foot only look at the part of the foot i'm using outside only. so a few steps back the other way a few steps back the other way every time if you wanted to you could set some cones up so when you go for the cone then you can turn around yeah that could be kind of marker for you so outside outside and drag back so now remember this time Dribble with any top part of your foot, but you must drag it back with your sole. Okay, brilliant. Keep going. Well done. Keep going. And we're back. We're doing passing today. And this is one of my favourite bits about football because I'm not the goal scorer. I'm usually the one who passes it for the person to score. So this is probably my favourite game. Okay. First of all, we're just going to practice. Your challenge is going to be, you're going to set up two cones. Now I've got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven steps away from each other. You can make it shorter if it's too hard. All you're gonna do first of all, is you wanna try and kick the ball and land it as close to the coat. So I'm gonna pass it. Ooh, not too bad, but how close can you get to the coat? So that was one shot. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna pass it up. I'm saying that's pretty good because it's nearly even touching the gun. So that's two. This is going to be my third shot. Okay, a little bit down here, it might be harder. Oh, we smashed it. That's three shots. I told you this is my favourite game. This is going to be my fourth shot. No, he hasn't. I kicked it a little bit too hard. And for my last shot, I'm just going to try and get it as close as I did last time. I'm doing the little tap. Oh, I think I've done it too hard. So to get a better score, you want it closer to the cone than further away. So that time I got one, two, four, four steps away. I want to try and get it to zero. Now, what we're going to look at is how to pass. Because some of us might be using our toes and that might hurt our toes. But we're going to be using our inside today because it's got the biggest area. So we call this our drum. It's a big area, it's the biggest service so you get more accuracy. Accuracy means it goes where you want it to go. So when we're passing, can we now try to do five shots just using our inside? So watch, inside there. I'm just gonna try and roll it down, try and get it close. So that time, do you think I'll do it harder or softer? I think probably harder, because it didn't go past the cone. So ready, using my inside again, not using our toes, not using our side, using our inside, ready? So I've got my foot like a golf, Pass it. Ooh, not doing very well now. So still using my inside. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna pass. Ooh, where's it gonna go? Better, much better. Well done. Always using that inside, here it is. Yeah, he's back. He is back now. He's got the points going. This is gonna be our last one using our inside. Let's see. Yeah, very good. So now, I'm going to give you another little challenge. We're using our insides, but now I just want you to try once or twice, trying to use your soul. So trying to use my soul. I don't get as much power because I can't use all my leg weight. I can only use just rolling. So when we're passing, can you now try and use your soul and see if it's harder or easier? Oh, see, it's too soft. 
So I want us to try and use our inside to get more power. So the further my leg goes back, the more power. So ready? I'm gonna look at it, I've got a little thing. I think it needs about this much power. Let's see how it goes. So next time I might have to go a little bit higher. Always using our inside. Last time use my inside here. If it's a little bit easier on your right, why not try your left foot? See what's happening. Oh, way too much power. Well done so far. So now we're using our inside, and that's what we're gonna be using for the rest of the video. Something else we need to look at when we're doing it is that if we're kicking the ball with our stronger foot, which is my right, where does my weaker foot go? Does it go in front of the ball? Does it go behind? Or do you think it goes right next to it? Have a little think. Put your foot where you think it should be. You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. If you've got it behind, not quite right. If you've got it in front, that's not right either. You want it next to the ball. So you're balanced. If you're too far forward, you're going to wobble and fall over. If you're too far away, you're going to be leaning back. So your foot wants to land next to the ball. And then we use our inside. So let's go try that. So I take the ball over to my first cone. Ready? My weaker foot lands next to it, in line, and then my inside makes the pass. Ooh, not bad at all, Tom. So I go over it again. Ready? I might walk up to the ball. Left foot stands next to it, inside to pass. It's getting there, it's getting there. It's not too bad. Again, if you're finding it too easy, you might change feet. So look, my stronger foot is now gonna go beside the ball, and then my left foot's gonna pass it. Ooh, not far off. If you are finding this too tricky, you might wanna move your cones a little bit closer. Now it's a different distance, so watch. Foot next to it, I pass up. Yeah, a little bit easier. So again, don't forget the steps. Left foot, lands next to it my right foot uses the inside okay that one's a little bit easy for me so i'm going to make it a little bit longer easy. So watch i'm going to make it longer perfect what we want to do is we want to bend our knees as well when we're passing because if i stay with straight legs so don't be like a plank of wood we're going to be like spongy knees ready look bending our knees so look my left foot lands next to it in line my knees are bent and I pass. Oh, I nearly landed on top. That was nearly perfect. Okay. We're going to be moving on to our second challenge. So if you want to practice that a little bit longer, pause the video now and practice. But if you're ready, push uh, play. And we're going to move on to our second part. So I just need to grab four cones. So I'm going to make a square. Hopefully we all know what a square looks like. Here we go, that's my lovely square. And I'm gonna use my extra cone to place further away. All we're gonna do now is our challenge. Can you try and kick the ball, pass the ball into our square? So ready? My left foot lands next to it. My knees are bent, I use my inside. Oh, there's a little bit of a hill here. It's just landed on the outside, so I'm gonna give myself one point. If I get it right in the middle, you get two points. If it lands on the outside, you get zero. I can give myself five shots, so so far I've got one point. Left foot lands next to it, knees bent. I'm gonna pass it. Oh, I've got the power. Nightmare. <laughs> zero points. I'm gonna go again. So this time, I think a little bit more power. So really, left foot lands next to it. Bend my knee, there it is. Please stay inside. Oh, this hill. So, right, I'm going to smash the next one. This is going to be good. So, I've had three shots so far. I've got one point. Not very good from Mr. Hardy. Left foot there, then. I'm going to go up the hill a little bit. Just, just can't buy any points. <laughs> Not good. Come on. Come on, Tom. Left foot lands next to it. Knees bent. Pass up the hill slightly. <laughs> Another one point. I'm gonna give myself a bonus shot <laughs> to get three points. You ready? 
because I want to make sure I get good points. Come on, come on. Left foot next to it. <laughs> Knees bent. Right foot. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so close. Do you think I should have another go or not? Go, go on, one more, one more. <laughs> gone. Ready? Last shot. Got myself ready. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I can't do it today. If it is too hard like this, what I might do is make my square a little bit bigger to make it easier for me. Let's see how I do with the bigger square. Fingers crossed, I can start getting some inside. Left foot lands next to it, knees bent, and I land it inside. Oh, that's so much easier. Should have done that from the start. I got three points that time, that's better. When we start getting better and better at this, we might make it smaller again to see if we can go to it. Knees bent, pass it up. Ooh. I'm gonna give one point, I think. Four points from two shots. Again, don't forget, our non-kicking foot lands next to it. We then pass around. Perfect. That's that game there. We're gonna change it a little bit now. All you will need, you pick up the cones. We're gonna have three cones next to each other. And this is where I'm gonna bring in my three tennis balls. Here they are. I'm gonna put one on top of there, one here, one here. I'm gonna show you a couple of my goes, but this is a challenge for you guys to try after this P lesson. So practice our passing. So what you want to try and do is try and knock off as many tennis balls as you can. So ready? Left foot lands, right foot here, pass. Smile. I'll run and go get the ball. <laughs> <coughs> I'll run and go get it. I put it down where I usually kick it from. I'm going to go for one of the balls. Oh, and it flies back to me like this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this heel's not helping me, guys. Ready? Oh. <laughs> no luck today, it bounced over. I can't buy. Ready? Left foot, knee bent. Yes! That's one point. Can I try and knock off the other two? I'm gonna try and knock off one more. And this is your challenge to try at home. Perfect. I just have to click and the ball comes back. Uh, ready? Land. Yes! Okay. Here it is. It's come back straight to me. Last ball. All the pressure on me. I think that ball is glued to the cone. I don't think it counts. Ready? Yes! Well done, me. So. Well done today guys, that's a challenge you can practice at home. Push pause, start when you're ready. Okay, well done all of you. I know I'm going to be practicing that game a little bit more because I was a little bit shaky. So if you're just like me, maybe we're going to practice a little bit more and more. So this is time we do our questions, but of course, by now we should always have our pen and paper ready because we always know it's going to happen. But if not, this is the last time I'm going to give you 10 seconds. So we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. We've got two questions this week and a challenge for you at the end. So the first question is gonna be, what part of our foot do we use to pass the ball? That's your first question. Your second question is gonna be, where does our non-kicking foot, where do we place it near the ball? So where do we place it? Do we go in front, behind, next to the ball? You tell me. Our third one was not a question, but it's gonna be a game for you and your parents to do at home. So the game we just did with the three cones and the three tennis balls, you need to challenge your parents and see if you can beat them at home. Let us know how you get on. Parents, don't go easy. These guys are going to be the experts. Okay. Hope you enjoy this lesson and see you soon.